It's great to see you. And I have to be honest, my husband heard you talking yesterday, Isha, and he was blown away. Mm -hmm. Let's start talking about your background. You're a senior at Kingwood High School, just about to graduate. Um, so besides scouting, you're also in the orchestra and you're on the golf team. I mean, how do you get it all done, including all of your studies and everything? How do you find the time? Honestly, sometimes I'm not entirely too sure, but um, yeah, I think just like just scouting, just it really like kind of anchored me in a way, and um, it helped me focus on so many other things too, along with that. So yeah. <laughs> so Isha, talk to us about how did you get into scouting? What inspired you to get into it? Actually, um, so my brother has been a Cub Scout since like elementary and all. And so many of his meetings and campouts, I've always been there with him. And but once he became a Boy Scout, we could no longer go for any of like the campouts and all. And so I was like super jealous of him. And I'd be like, <laughs> Mom, why can't I go to like this summer camp that's like out of the state, like him? And she was like, she'd always tell me, she's like, you're just a girl. You can't. You're not a guy. You can't like be a Boy Scout. And then um, in tenth grade, January. My dad just comes in my room and he's like, Isha, do you want to be in Boy Scouts? And I was like, wait, what? Like, is that possible? And like, before I know it, I'm sitting on a water burger on a Wednesday night and I'm like <laughs> surrounded by a dozen strangers. And, you know, that's how my story started. It's Two years after that, they're my closest friends. That is really awesome, Isha. And let's, you know, you are part of this inaugural class, this first female inaugural class to be an Eagle Scout. Let's talk about your Eagle project because you, there's a lot of work to get this badge and this title. Yeah, um, so my Eagle project was to build a sand volleyball court for my charter organization. And so they're the place that has been letting, that's been hosting our troop meetings and all. And so I felt like it was sensible to give back to them. Um, my beneficiary contacted me and he was like, oh, um, there's like some service projects that we can give to you. There's this one project or, that like we would really like and we would like you to build like a sand volleyball court if you would like to. And I have no idea what made him like decide that apparently a high schooler is okay to build a sand volleyball court. But um, he just never, I don't know, he never had any doubt in like what I could do. And I think that just kind of subconsciously made me not have doubt in myself too. And I just, I think it turned out really well in the end, so. Yeah, and it's great that you're also using that to inspire others out there with your prior experience with leadership. You started your own organization, your own club. Talk, a little, talk to us about that club and, and tell us more about that. So, um, there's a neighboring troop called Troop 839. And so they're like all boys. They don't have a sister troop, but they've been super supportive of our troop anyways. And so the leaders over there asked some of our girls like if we were interested in ham radio. And so I was, and I ended up just taking like the ham radio day and um, and I took my test. And so now I have like the technician license. So yeah, now I like, sometimes I'm able to go for like monthly like call-ins where I'll be able to like push the button, like just kind of talk to everyone else. So it's a good experience. Um, if the reason why I took like the ham radio is because like, you know, if anyone needs help, like in a natural disaster with Harvey yeah. and all, people have had experience of being able to help others because they had their ham radio. Well, it's great to shine a spotlight on you, Isha. And we have about just a few seconds left. Do you want to have a message for any young girls out there who are looking to follow in your footsteps? Um, honestly, I think that um, just I was able to get like my eagle in like two years, which sounds so much harder. But like if anything, like any kind of dream that you have, you can always do it and not just like you, like there's other people who are always going to root for you and make sure that you get to your end goal. Well, it's really great. And thanks so much for joining us today and congratulations. Thank you so much. <laughs> Absolutely, Isha. I know you're going places too. <laughs> she definitely is.